Well, I'm not going to be able to do this much tonight, but thank you, Giga Duck, for the uh, Twitch sub. We appreciate that. That is 30 months in a row when you have subbed to the channel. We really appreciate that. Uh, in just a few moments, we will be beginning the Victory Roll 36 intro. Andrew, you're gonna be mad. Someone else made a stinger, and I asked the people in the uh, OFL executive board chat, and they wanted the other stinger, so I am sorry. Uh, just a, in, in, in advance apology, just so you know. Well, folks, I think it's a little bit uh, before 10.30. We got two seconds. All right, here we go, folks. Toronto, Canada, home of the Toronto Bears and site of the 36th OFL Victory Bowl between the old Western Conference champion, Justin Jackrabbits, and the old Eastern Conference champion, Lord of Firecats. As two teams remain in the race for the brilliant trophy, but by the end of the night, there will be only one, and one of these two teams will hoist it, and a champion will be crowned. As we take a look inside the visitor locker room, where the Jost and Jackrabbits are getting ready, winning in the play-in game against the Mexico City Aztecs, then defeating the Spartans on the road, the Twisters, and then, of course, the Rams in the old Western Conference Championship. Meanwhile, in the home locker room, the Firecats come in as the favorites, defeating the Raptors, Freedom, and Phoenix and road to this Victory Bowl championship. So come on in to the stadium, folks, as the Victory Bowl for the first time heads north of the border to Canada. America's game is now Canada's game. Both quarterbacks in today's game have Victory Bowl experience. Depatron 0-1 in the big game with a loss in Victory Bowl 34 to the Omaha Nighthawks. And of course, Rocky with a win in Victory Bowl 25, but falling short in Victory Bowl 26 to the Tuscaloosa Thunderbirds. The Victory Bowl 36 pregame show on Roblox Sporting Network is next. And with that, from right outside the True North Stadium in Toronto, Canada, welcome in, folks. I'm your hosting caster for the pregame show tonight, King O'Light of the Roblox Sporting Network. For tonight's Victory Bowl 36 pregame show brought to you by RSPN Motion Pro. 
Tonight's game sees two Dark Horse teams that I think a lot of people coming to the playoffs would not have expected to be here. But we see the Justin Jackrabbits with a 500 record in the regular season running through the play and all the way here to the night in the Victory Bowl. And of course, the Florida Firecats with a 4-2 record in the regular season and upsetting a couple teams on the way, especially last week, the Atlanta Phoenix with a huge upset win in the Old West Eastern Conference Championship. And here they are today, ready for the biggest game of their lives. So with that, let's talk about some of the key players in tonight's matchup. Obviously, for the Justin Jackrabbits, you have the Game Breaker, the Game Wrecker, Doodle at the defensive end position, having a phenomenal season, as always, from the future Hall of Fame player. As Doodle has been the best defensive end this season, blowing up a total of 10 plays with 8 sacks, 1 tackle for loss, and a safety on the year. And then, of course, we got the guy who has my money for the best center in the game, Esteban. Esteban, of course, having such a phenomenal season, as always. And, of course, he is no stranger to big games, winning two LFG championships, an AFL championship, and now is one step in the Triple Crown here at the center position. And, of course, hoping to get over the hump here and finally win a Victory Bowl championship to complete that Triple Crown for the best center in the game. And then, of course, on the Firecat side, we have the double-headed monster at wide receiver, LMJ43052, we'll talk about first. LMJ, a former Victory Bowl champion quarterback, but now back at the wide receiver position. Maybe the position he plays best when he's saying something to him, how great he was at quarterback. But the scary thought is when LMJ is probably the second best pass catcher on your team, he obviously got hard scoped as the number one guy and maybe the best player in the history of the game at the wide receiver position, especially when you consider the fact that, that he hasn't won a ring. Hoping to get over the hump here tonight. He's been close a couple times. Tonight might be his chance to finally claim the brilliant trophy and claim the brass ring. As always, hard scopes numbers this season. Nothing short of spectacular leading the league in yards, catches, and touchdowns. 53 catches, 1,500 yards, and 25 scores. And so close to finally claiming the Great White Whale, the Victory Bowl tonight. Well, with that, we inch ever so closer to kickoff as the fans continue to trickle in here to Toronto, north of the border, here at True North Stadium, the Bears' home stadium, and of course, including a bunch of them right outside here, the pregame show set, and right outside the stadium as we inch so close to kickoff. In the meantime, security is tight here for the Victory Bowl. But of course, we will take a quick look at both teams' road to Victory Bowl 36, starting with your old Western Conference champion, Justin Jackets. Well, Justin, we are finally here. It's been 30 seasons, but you guys finally made it to the dance. To say the regular season was turbulent for you guys, well, that would be an understatement. Started off hot, but you know, had to change quarterbacks, coaches, everything midway through the year, finishing in 500. But it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Getting the number eight seed in WC, bounced to a victory over the Aztecs, 32 to 25 of the play-in. Then hopped past the Spartans, 55 to 32 under the veteran leadership of Rocky. You must have hit the calm before the storm as you blew away the twisters to set up a date with the Rams. It wasn't Wabbit season, it was Rams season. Sending you guys here all the way to Victory Bowl 36. Congratulations, Jack Rabbits. One step away. And now for the Firecats road to tonight. Here, kitty kitty. What's the problem? A cat got your tongue? See what you guys got here. You guys are back at the Victory Bowl for the second time in the past three seasons. And of course, the sixth time overall. So, Firecats, how'd you get here? Well, a regular season again with controversy, just like your opponent. However, you guys were ultimately better off heading into the playoffs, where you defeated the Ra Raptors in a stunning defeat. And of course, this kitty must have nine lives because 40 to 39, you guys defeated the Freedom there in Philly. And of course, you burnt the defending champions of the world, the Atlanta Phoenix. They weren't able to rise from the ashes of this burn as you guys punched your ticket on a Hail Mary here to Victory Bowl 36. 
Congratulations, Firecats. Just one more win. Well, with that, looking at the team's roads, we welcome you back here inside the booth, or rather inside the studio here just outside the stadium, as welcome back, folks, to the RSN pregame show brought to you by RSPN Motion Pro. Well, of course, Victory Bowl week always gives us some of the best sound bites, and of course, this week was no stranger to that, as we will head down to our sideline reporter, Radiant 617 to talk about some of the key quotes. When Rocky was asked by RSN staff this week, what did you learn from Victory Bowl 25, the biggest triumph in your career? Rocky responded with the quote, I love winning with players who have never won before. To see them so ecstatic about winning brings me joy. When asked, what did you learn from Victory Bowl 26, the biggest defeat in your career, and how did that prepare you to come back stronger tonight? Rocky said, I hate losing with players who have never won before. That loss hurt some of my guys way more than me, and I gotta make sure I don't make some of my players on Justin feel the same way. Well, Hardscoped and Depatron also gave us some really solid sound bites this week. Back to you, Radiance. Aircat star wide receiver had a short but simple message to the media this week when Hardscope said, quote, A victory bowl would be a great achievement long overdue. Debitron had a much longer response and was much more talkative when he was asked about Victory Bowl 34 and the heartbreak with it. He said, quote, I have known I was going to get back here the minute I decided to keep playing. I don't play to waste my time. I'm here to do what I need to do. I will take Florida to the Victory Bowl every season that I'm on the team. We're the next dynasty. Watch out season 37. This Victory Bowl will put on a show. I didn't come on my head in the game season 34. I underestimated the team. I looked at the names and didn't anticipate that they had five alts. That's on me. Respect everyone you play. Now back to you, Kingo. Well, as we all know, there are so many star players all over the field in the Victory Bowl, especially tonight's one. But as we also all know, it's a quarterback-driven league, and we have both quarterbacks warming up, starting right now with Rocky 17. Obviously, his third Victory Bowl appearance, one and one in previous Victory Bowls, with a win in Victory Bowl 25 and a loss in Victory Bowl 26. A short season this season for the former Victory Bowl MVP, as 21 of 31, six touchdowns and 497 yards, taking over midseason for AJ. Then on the other side of the ball, we have the much less Victory Bowl familiar Depatron, but definitely still Victory Bowl familiar with a start in Victory Bowl 34 where he fell shy to the Omaha Nighthawks. Much longer season at quarterback for Depatron, of course. 65 of 82, 23 touchdowns, 1,771 yards, and four interceptions for the former Victory Bowl starting quarterback, and again, Victory Bowl starting quarterback tonight. Well, as we said, it's a QB league, but who's a QB's best friend other than the number one wide receiver? As, of course, as touched upon earlier, Triple Crown winner Hardscoped warming up before the big game, and he had himself another phenomenal season with a Triple Crown again. 53 catches, 1,539 yards, and, of course, 25 scores for the Hall of Fame or future Hall of Fame wide receiver and probably... Maybe tonight future champion wide receiver as well. This is a down year for him, which is just incredible to think about. And right now on the other side of the ball, we see Green Sharky warming up for the Justin Jackrab. It's definitely not the prestige of that of Hardscope, but a very solid number one wide receiver. Or actually, in this case, a number two wide receiver, which is, again, very scary to think about. When you got Dewar one as the number one, you got Green as the number two. Now, Green did not play that much this season, but five catches for 169 yards and no scores on the regular season for Green Sharky. Well, with that, the players are finishing their warm-ups, and that will wrap up tonight's kickoff show of Victory Bowl 36 on Roblox Sporting Network, brought to you by RSPN Motion Pro. Thank you guys for tuning in. We will get ready in just a moment for the Victory Bowl intros by the OFL development team as well as True North Entertainment. We thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great night, folks, and enjoy Victory Bowl 36. King of Light, signing out. Well, 
Well, good evening, folks, and don't worry, you won't hear my voice often tonight, but I am brought to you guys alongside our special guest tonight, who will be on the play-by-play -play duties, Adam, and we got a special PA announcer for the game, who probably can't introduce himself because he got those effects on, but we got Pasta Chef Streams in the building, and here we go, getting ready for the in-game Victory Bowl intro. How is everyone doing here? We welcome those of you in just joining us for the OFL's Victory Bowl 36. You're King of Lights, number one's hate, number one hater? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's my man. Ninja. D6. Right. I'm so, right here, You're King of Lights, number one's hate. <laughs> I'm trying not to act. I didn't know if you had your effects on or not. I didn't, no, I couldn't no. know. Anyways, we Maybe appreciate you guys for being here. It's been a really, really fun uh, time doing this again and obviously having the chance to do this again. I want to thank so many people here, including, and I'll, I'll probably thank them after the game and stuff. I'm probably going to make a list of everything, but we appreciate you guys so much for being here. And we will be interested to see you guys here. Woo! All right. Uh, unfortunately, Kiri Kali did have a family event and could not make the game. Unfortunately, I do apologize. I meant to announce that beforehand. Did I forget to announce that beforehand? Or am I an idiot? I'm probably. They gave me a booth here, but I can't enter. Uh, Robo, I am stuck in your, uh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, well, he told, he told me he couldn't make 11. He told me he could do 10, and then after the game for LFG, he couldn't do it. That's what I was told. He told me he couldn't do past 11. So that's what I was told. That's what he told me. Anyways, how's everyone doing here? Uh, we are getting set here, and this man Robo needs to fix my avatar, bro. That is crazy. Yeah. There we go. Why does it say Sky Kings versus Warriors? Yo, that's crazy. Robo reusing assets, guys. That is insane. Yo, this is the victory bowl, folks. That's an L. No, I'm kidding. One minute. Uh, anyways, any thoughts from you guys? I was hoping that they would start here immediately after our intro, but I guess not. Ooh. No, I'm a, I'm a trying to get into the game. I'm got into the long server. I feel like. Uh, that's fine. Don't stress it. Appreciate you People guys. were saying my mic quality is bad. Kingo, do you agree? Sounds fine to me. Uh, is it? Okay, good. Well on stream, I don't know. Maybe they're messing. I, I guess not. People were saying that my mic is not picking up. But uh, it is quarter uh, quarter of, so I think it is intro time. Should be about, and I will have to go on deafen here when we start. So they're gonna give a one minute warning or so. Yeah, hopefully they'll start here. Yeah, they're yelling at them to stay in the tunnel. Right, I'm gonna go on deafen. I'm going to go on mute. Well, they're taking a little longer than I presumed, so I guess I'll keep talking here for a minute. Hopefully they give me a warning, uh, otherwise I don't know what I'll do. But how's everyone doing here? We welcome those of you who are just joining us. Victory Bowl 36 here, just starting off. And remind you guys, if you guys join up on Twitch, we're doing a $100 giveaway at 1,000 viewers, if we can hit 1,000 viewers on Twitch. So make sure you guys do that here. Hopefully they will start this intro soon. I don't know. I don't know. 
We will see. Let's see what's up. Anyways, how is everyone doing here? Uh, guys, any any questions here? I don't know. Possible, possible we could not. Uh, anyways. Don't uh, worry about this. Oh my goodness. Here we go. I think. Starting at 10.50 latest, he said. Okay, so 10.50. 10.50 is our official uh, time here. I think we could hit a 1,000. We haven't even had most of our shouts yet. Oh, actually, speaking of which, I gotta re-shout in OFL and OCFA now that the TikTok is live. Uh, so give me a second. One second here. Oh my goodness, Jackson with a raid of 237. Who won? Who won, Jackson? Jackson, thank you so much for the raid. Who won? And yes, sir, LFG on top. Yes, sir. Appreciate the raid from Jackson. And Jackson, I, I owe you a huge shout out later on. I appreciate you, boss. Yes, sir. Appreciate you guys here. And now it's championship day. I mean, practically, you're, you're getting ready for the intro here in just a second, folks. I appreciate that, the follows, by the way. And also, appreciate the follows, likes, and shares coming through on TikTok as we're getting ready here for the uh, OFL Victory Bowl intro. Appreciate that from Jackson. Goodness, how many viewers are we at after that raid, folks? Is we're also gonna get a few shouts here coming up from a couple leagues that I'm trying to make sure everything goes smooth here. In the meantime, how is everyone doing? 500 viewers? Hey, not too shabby. And reminder, at a thousand viewers, we get a thousand viewers at any point in the stream, we will be doing a $100 giveaway. So we are already smacking records here. And Champ did win. Okay, Champ won. I think they're about to start here, so I might have to go on mute here for a second and see what's up. Uh, but anyways, how's everyone doing here? I think we have our all of our commentators in the booth, by the way, which is great to see. Uh, in the meantime, oh, thank you for the uh, Porg for the gifted subs. Appreciate the gifted sub to ref. Appreciate that. And intro time here in just a moment. Yeah, I can mute here in a, in a, in a second when the time. Appreciate you guys for being here. Hopefully this intro will start here. They said 1050. Let's start the intro, guys. Oh boy, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, yo, thank you for the bits from Chaos Topia says 15 bits and he it says Victory Bowl. Yes, here we go. All right, here we go. I'll blame people for leaving if we're. Let's see. Can we? They said 10:50, bro, and they're not even gonna start kickoff at 11. That's fine. Here, thank you for the raid. Smart, you're being detained for illegally crossing the Canadian border. Oh 
my god, thanks, Jordy. I promise I won't get caught like you. There's a feeling inside, getting this high, loving that vibe. Live for the night, I feel alive. This is that high. Sending the OEC. The 
this time, we please ask that you rise as you're able for the singing of the National Anthems. Since John the Boat will never make a victory bowl, here he is to perform the Star Spangled Banner on piano. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free and the home of the brave Canada, please welcome East City and join us in singing O Canada. everyone doing here welcome to victory bowl 36 i will not be commentating tonight for the most part but we're heading now to the stadium where the game will be played as we appreciate you guys coming through thank you on tiktok for all the follows like shares, well over 300 viewers on both tiktok and twitch we appreciate you guys for coming through here and we will be live in just a moment as uh that will give us a cue here to start hold up give me one second as that will give us a cue here for our commentators of the night. If they want to introduce themselves one by one, uh, Pasta, you won't introduce yourself, I assume, if you have your effects on. All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Adam. I'm uh, pleased to be joining you guys here for the Victory Bowl, and I'll be the play-by-play -play commentator for tonight's game. Absolutely. And now, uh, Rogue, you can go and then rally and then... Uh... Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Rogue. I'm the owner of the RVCS Rogue Volleyball Championship Series. Uh, I am one of the color commentators here for the Victory Bowl 36, and uh, I'm expecting to see a, an amazing game uh, with two amazing teams. It's my turn to speak, Kingo. Got it, got it. Well, I'll introduce myself. Pretty sure everybody knows me, my young Rogue. Phenomenal football player on Roblox. I do not affiliate with any businesses related to Roblox, so I can't really introduce myself in that sense. But, you know, I do play Roblox football very well, so I'm pleased to be commentating alongside such a legend on Roblox for the network. Hey, 
anyways, I will shut up once the game officially begins for you guys, but... Anyways, here we are, heading into True North Stadium, home of the Toronto Bears, instead of the 36th Victory Bowl. So far, it's been quite the show, and we really do thank you guys so much for all the follows, likes, and shares on TikTok, all the gifts on Twitch, all those follows. We appreciate it, guys, as we are here, and we are live. And uh, if a mod wants to... Oh, they already did. They already started the predictions. You guys are going crazy here. We're going swimming through the fans here. And, uh, we are just... Oh, I guess they're going to shut down the server. Oh, that's... Kingo, since you won't be talking too much, like, what's your thoughts on the game? Well, absolutely. Gonna uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give my quick thoughts here, I guess. That's a great question. I think both of these teams are exceptional. I think it's going to be a really good matchup. I think it's going to come down to the wire. If I had to take a shot in the dark, I think this is the Firecat season to finally end 34 seasons of pain and not winning a victory bowl. This is their chance, right? I mean, this, is, this feels like it. But Justin, I mean, they've been scrappy all year, and they're not going to go away without a fight. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Justin was built very late into the season. Uh, many like many like to say that Rocky got carried to this, and, you know, I'd like to agree. I think YG is just an exceptional quarterback that really put his team on his back, and Rocky is just, you know, not on that level. He got a very lucky win against someone in Season 25. I don't remember what that game – I don't know who he played against. But yeah, he did yeah, against I, don't either, I don't know about yeah. that game either, man. I don't know about that game either. Yeah. Actually, I think he played but, the GOAT or something, but, like, he didn't win. He cheated to win or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what happened. I'm just not sure who he played against, honestly. But if you were to say the But anyways, um, actually, I'm excited to see Adam here. Adam, I haven't seen you in a while, man. Yeah, man, Absolutely. no, it's 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 been a minute. I mean, we definitely have a history together. I mean, uh, you yeah. drafted me back in the day, and I, I played on your team for a while. It's good to see you, man. Yeah, good to see you as well. They're going to shut down this server 50 million times before the game starts, you can tell. But... In the meantime, uh, how is everyone doing here? Adam, do you have any thoughts on this matchup here as we get set for the 36th Victory Bowl? And, oh, by the way, we got a ton of gifted subs. I just realized that I am uh, taking a second here. Thank you for the gifted subs from Gigaduck. We appreciate that. Thank you all the follows, likes, and shares on TikTok, and all the follows on Twitch. Yeah, no, so um, my opinion on the game, um, from what I've seen, you know, I've been out of the OFL scene for uh, quite some time now. But I still, you know, I've seen some familiar names like Hardscoped. I think, uh, you know, just like you said, the Firecats probably should take this dub here just based off of the players that they have on their team and their roster. They look like a pretty good team to take this one here tonight. Uh, I, I yeah. guess uh, I we'll, ask, uh, we'll ask Rogue if he has any thoughts, obviously from outside of OFL. You know, I mean, you, yeah, you have that row volleyball knowledge. Anything that you think can relate to, I mean, obviously row volleyball is huge. So the championships there are huge. How does it relate oh, to a game like this? It is. It's it's definitely it's definitely comparable. The biggest the biggest stage victory bowl, one of the biggest stages that I've ever seen for a row sporting event. Just from an outsider's perspective, looking in, you can already tell. And I've I've said this before on a few of your streams that a lot of a lot of this is going to come down to who's going to be able to handle the pressure the handle the pressure the most is that both of these teams are at the are at the pinnacle of what is possible for OFL and what is possible and this is the victory bowl after all so whoever can keep their composure the most and and stay grounded is going to be the one that is going to be able to it's going to be able to push through if they and take shut the down this server one more gosh darn time i swear to jesus <laughs> i swear yeah, on I'm my life you bro myself, like they've right? shut I, it I down 15 times down. now just play the jam game. It's not going to get any better. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I swear Ours and TED Talks are where it's at. For real. For real. Man. I just want to watch Roblox football. Is that too much? I want them to play the game too, guys. I know you guys are yelling. It's not my call, bro. It's not my call. It's not his call. It's really not my call. If it was, if it was Kingo's call, we would have started the game 30 minutes ago. Actually, you guys yeah, want to blame it was anyone. my call. I... Oh my god. I'm about <laughs> to lose my mind. I'm about to lose my mind, guys. Unbelievable. No, don't blame Kingo. Blame uh, Blue Fire Knight. He's not the best developer we've ever seen. Is that, is unbelievable. You're about to make King of Light lose his marbles. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. You don't want to see that, boys. Uh, also, this... I just noticed the, the Canada Day uh, stuff for the OFL hub. That stuff's amazing. Fellow, fellow Canadian over here. Let's go. Yeah. Really, it fits the victory bowl north of the border. You guys just infiltrate everything, man. First, I can't breathe outside. I can't breathe outside because the wildfires. Now I gotta go on Roblox and hear the Canadian national anthem. Like twice now. Anyway, it's it's better it's better to be a patriot, okay? It's better to be a. I, trust me, man. 
Dude, I don't know who it is in the in the in the pregame screen with the bikini on, but he's rocking it, man. That the is Canada bikini. That is, is tough. That is definitely King O in disguise. Yeah, oh, my yeah. bad, coach. My bad, guys. All right, I just, think we're just, finally getting the right server. To admit it. So once kickoff starts, Let's I will go. shut up this for you it. guys. I know you guys are all waiting for me to shut the hell up, but uh, no, we're not waiting for that. Oh, oh, no, no, we you. love we love we love your voice. Yeah, I love your voice. And might I might mention, I think I've I think I've said this to you before, Kingo, but the venues for these competitions are absolutely unreal. Just the grandest stage can only be represented by the grandest of arenas, and this definitely takes the cake. Absolutely, as I gotta follow up with the people who are gonna shout out the victory bowl. So give me one second here. If you got uh, Adam and you guys take it away here, I got I got to take a minute here. Yeah, I mean, just like you were saying, this is a beautiful venue. I mean. The last time I've really seen a, a, a VB venue was season 24 when I was a part of it with the Roblox Warriors. That was a long time ago. And it is pales in comparison to the magnificent beauty of this stadium and this venue here today. It is just phenomenal how far we've come. The scale you know, of everything is so unbelievable. Wait, well, as an just... OFL historian myself, uh, you said you were in the VB on jo on the Warriors in season twenty four. Was it twenty? It was. It's. It's been a long time ago. I. I. Whenever twenty four the... was the season you were with me. So. Okay. Well, it was. It was maybe twenty. Hmm. Whenever 19. the Warriors. What, who was the quarterback? Who was the quarterback? On... I can. I, I can answer this. Oh, Mr. OFL um... historian. Was it Pluge or was it? Uh, Randy? It was season twenty. It was season twenty. Because it would have been nineteen. Pluge, makes yeah. sense because that would have been when Pluge was the quarterback when they made it. Yep, 19, probably, yeah. Or season 21, maybe it was Tech, Javon? And that's true. Oh, yeah, tech. it was. Yep. Yeah, 21. Yeah, it was, it was Tech. 20. You guys yeah. lost yeah, the Tri-Fi? Yeah, we lost the Tri-Fi. Yeah. Yeah, imagine losing the Tri-Fi. Yeah, King, you're not as good as a historian as me. Yeah, that's something that I did want to mention is that victory. This is Victory Bowl 36, is it? You've had yep. 36 of these. There is obviously such a rich history in this game. What mm -hmm. is the history? What is the history between these two teams here? Absolutely well, not nothing. much because the Justin <laughs> Jackrabbits are in their 30th season and have never made a Victory Bowl. Their first ever appearance in their 30th season of franchise existence, and the Florida Firecats. Won Victory Bowl 2, went to Victory Bowls 3 and 4, lost those ones, lost Victory Bowl 10, and then lost Victory Bowl 34. Wow. So here they are finally hoping to end a 34 season drought of their own. Beautiful. Both of these teams are kind of looking to regain some momentum and take that crown that they've been waiting for for a while. Mind you guys, if you guys are here on the TikTok end of things, if you guys join up on Twitch at 1,000 viewers, we will do a $100 giveaway if we can get 1,000 viewers. Or oh, if we hit 750, if we hit, if we hit, 750 viewers will do 7.5k robux giveaway so make sure you guys tune in to the stream on twitch that's gonna be twitch that is wild yep. better join up before i take it it's a very 100 giveaway. 100 us dollars that is unbelievable run up yes. the numbers boys come on so we gotta can we try can we try guys can we try to get five chipotle burritos that's a oh my god that's like six mcnugget meals that is yeah. true. Can we try to get, by the way, guys, if we can try to get a hype train, that would be a W, man. That would be a W. For any Canadians that are watching um, in Toronto, that is 132 Canadian dollars, if you were confused. Oh, about. my God. 132 Canadian dollars? I could use 132 Canadian dollars. Evesta, by the way, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, and he says, Woo! Oh, my voice cracked there. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> At least I know I did. It's One a step of us in the right direction. First. first step to solving a problem, guys, is knowing you have the problem. Yeah, it's alright. Well, somebody had to do it first in the stream. I'm, I'm just glad it wasn't me. We did end up doing the uh, we did end up doing the promotion in the RVCS server, by the way, uh, Kingo. If you were wondering, so anybody coming from RVCS, feel free to type up. See if see if you represent in the chat. So we thank you for see all the bits, hear. by the way, coming through from. Rat, raid, raid. We appreciate that. I apologize if I'm missing any of these things. I will try to write them down. But thank you, Trey Trey, for the bits as well. I do apologize if I'm missing anything tonight. It's a hectic night on Victory Bowl night. So if I ever miss anything, I do apologize in advance. Justin will call the toss. And uh, then Adam will take over play by play. Here's how this is going to work. Okay, I'm going to have to explain this to the commentators here a little bit. So here's what we're going to yes, need. Sir. What I'm going to have is, really you're going to be more like the historian and insider. Like, you're going to be the inside knowledge. And uh, Rogue yeah. is going to be more the outside perspective for those at home who maybe have never seen that OFL game before. And then, Adam, you will be on play-by-play. -play. And Pasta, you do. Your, uh, guys, if you, the other commentators can mute Pasta because he's going to be a PA announcer. 
So gotcha. just so he, he doesn't talk over you guys. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to take a little bit more look at the plays going on. See see what the players are doing. See if I can break down some of the more complex plays going on on the field and uh, give you a play by play in case uh, in case the initial play by play uh, doesn't doesn't catch on with something that may or may not have been a little bit extra complex on the side also, of the offense. Thank you guys so much for all the bits, guys. You guys are going crazy with those bits. We really do appreciate that. Every little bit counts. Oh, yeah. Ah, I yeah. see what you did there. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. oh, no, I was proud of that one. I was proud of that one. Uh, I was proud King of that goes, one. <laughs> making a flip, but every single I'm joke, please don't hey, Oh my god, W's in the chat. I wasn't paid to say that. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I gotta fix this. Hold up. I gotta fix my TikTok stream. Oh my goodness, it's. I don't worry, I'm fixing it, folks. I know, I know, I'm gonna fix it there. I got it, folks. Yeah, I'm Rose, smart. You have to be a little bit helpful uh, today because I've been oh, out of the OFO loop, so I might go. miss a couple things. Yeah, I'll try to. I'll try to keep an eye on a bit of the more complex plays. See what the see what the receivers are doing. See what kind of oh, routes they're, they're going to run. So I'm going to go on mute looking, here. See what see what happens mm. and uh, yeah. Called ready. So Adam. You're yep. Here we go. Uh, as Justin's, I believe. Yes, that's Justin lining up for the kickoff here. Rocky going to be a kicker. And teams will be getting set now for the first play of the Victory Bowl here in Toronto. So the um, what the Florida Firecats going to be getting the ball first. Can you say anything about this Florida Firecats uh, offense? Really? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, YG, the quarterback, very uh, turnover prone. Throws a lot of interceptions. They like to call him the Burger King. A burger meaning he throws a lot of in incorrect passes, bad decisions. Uh, Rocky is more of an IQ quarterback. YG is more of an aiming quarterback. Uh, it's going to be difficult to beat either quarterback just because of their experience. I think YG has learned a lot in the past few seasons, and he's kind of taking that next step to advance himself as a quarterback. Uh, Rocky is obviously experienced. It's his third VB at QB, beating, uh, I don't remember who in season 25, and losing to Kelvin the following season, but it's going to be kickoff now, so we'll see how this FFC offense starts off. They do like Pearl 430-52. He just somehow catches every pass come that comes his way, so we'll see how that goes. We're going to see the these. There. These first few plays are going to be the most important. Whoever can gain the most momentum in these first few minutes, especially in this first quarter, is definitely going to have the big advantage going into the rest of this game. Starting off with momentum is probably the most important thing that you can really start with, and having a good start to your game is going to mean the difference between a good performance and a bad one. Yeah, That's exactly I mean, right, yeah. that is how it usually is, but I think with these guys, honestly, Speaking from experience, Rocky doesn't really get phased by how he starts in the beginning. And just, I mean, knowing OFL in general, the momentum is definitely a big aspect of the game. But as far as that resulting in a certain ending to the game, usually second half is really what plays out because it depends on who gets the ball in the second half. So in this case, Justin would get ball. So that's already an edge for them. But we'll see how it goes. Definitely things that I know uh, playing in OFL that, you know, having that possession lead going into the half is huge, um, especially if you're the uh, the team that receives the kick at the beginning of the game. So uh, it's definitely going to be on which team uh, makes the mistake first to, you know, get that edge if you're the other team here in this one. I just wanted to interject one more time and say thank you so much for all the bits coming through from Ref. I really do appreciate it. It helps us out with the time. Oh my god, you've been getting so many. Holy... <laughs> Just took a look over. The what the hell? It's all bits. <clears throat> and I think a football game is supposed to happen. I told them specifically, make sure you kick the ball off no later than 11 p.m. And they said, don't worry, it won't be a problem, Kingo. It's 11.16 p.m. and the game has not yet started. Hey, the smoke got a little delayed. People can't, uh, can't see so well. Hey, yeah. <laughs> That is true. I told to them, Canada, I you told gotta, them, bro, do not start the game later than 11 p.m. And I said, I swear to God, if you do, you do this every time. I tell you guys, set up right on time, and they don't do it. They do not. Okay, the two teams are having a nice little toss around here. The game should start, hopefully soon. I don't freaking know, guys. I don't See, Kingo, you got it. You got to be put as the head of the league next. I run, I run my own volleyball league, and I, I stream all the games, and everything runs on my schedule. So it's great. Yeah. So just, just an idea for you. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should turn this into a volleyball league. 
And hey, man, Road Volleyball is great. <laughs> Road Volleyball is great. It actually is a lot of fun, and uh, I want to give a huge shout-out to all the Road Volleyball leagues. A bunch of them have shouted out this game, and I want to give a huge shout-out to them. I will give a shout-out yes. to them in the OFL Discord server afterwards. Everybody, everybody coming from RVCS, thank you for tuning in. You guys are great. We do appreciate you guys. So the volleyball community, how is it like? Is it mostly, um, you know, LG UHD TV, or is it is it a different um, kind of community? Uh, it's a lot of it's it's very unique, I guess. It's kind of like um, a lot of the volleyball that a lot of people kind of see. Like when you look up Roblox volleyball, you get a lot of four point two and a lot of four point four. But our particular game, Volleyball Academy, has been starting to pick up steam recently, and. Out of, out of all of them, I think it's the most unique. I think it has the best community. I think that the um, the competitive scene is is just overall better. The, the level of competition is a lot higher. And the prize pooling... Oh, here we go. We're kicking off. Yeah, it's going to be kicked off here. Sky kick. Why well, middle of the end it. zone. Oh, yep. oh no, he doesn't. Like He's going to be taking it to tackle. the right. It's going to be a good tackle for sure. Yep. Nice. Right behind... Wow, that's, that's a big tackle. That tackled at the 16 there. Just that extra half second. And we're going to be looking out for Depatron's oh. propensity for turnovers on the football football field because it is very conspicuous and concerning. I mean, these guys marred with a, just an issue with turnovers. So here Depatron goes on his first play here, rolling to the left, has some blocks. Going to step up in the pocket, taking a run there. That for a gain of about four. And that'll make it second and 11. So already taking off running here. Um, is that kind of a skill set, really? Is that what, something he looks for a lot? Or... Uh, runs? No, he likes to throw it up. Gotcha. So now, nervous. rolling back to the left. Yeah, those Not nerves in the VB will get you. Throwing a real oh. pass. That one oh. caught it. Caribbean. What a grab. Yeah, that one a perfect throw there. Uh, Easy the sideline pass. Line, You're going to need that to get you some Caribbean. space. You know, First nerves are running in this VB. Uh, you know, take what you can get, especially at the beginning of the game. Yeah, like, like I was mentioning before, you gotta start with momentum, as much ground as you possibly can, even the little bits count, and they're making every little yard count. Yep, okay. just like you said, the little bits, he's taken off there, and it's a second and two. I mean, the middle is wide open, three yeah, runs for him to start this one. Yep. Second and two. So, second and two here, 420, remaining in the first quarter, kind of taking their time here on this first drive making sure that they get it right as he's gonna fake the mid drop back has some blocks thrown over the top there to Lamont and that one will be good for a first down that so one now, was that uh, one was huge that little, little fake that he did that he looked like he was about to run it over the two yards yep. that he needed he takes a step back leaves his receivers wide open he's gonna be able to get blockers uh to keep those to keep those rushers away from him and he just gets the wide open pass and gets way much more yard than he bargained for yeah, that's nope. huge. Faking the Another mid once pick. again, looking to try to get some separation for his wide receivers. Touchdown right he's going to have to drop back. Oh, he's nice. And taking his time here. That's throwing that one to the side. That it. one caught and wow. reeled there. So now they'll be within the five-yard line as the Florida Cat, uh, Florida Firecats sorry, are going to have a nice little first drive here and threatening to score already. Yeah, this Johnson defense is just non-existent right now. Starting off a green shark. Oh, right oh yep. that is exactly right on in the a line. touchdown there from Depatron. No, it's gonna be it's gonna be brought back. Dive behind oh, OS. Wow. So, but a yellow flag thrown on the field that'll move them back ten, and they'll be at the thirteen yard line. So a tough mistake there, drops them back a little bit, but it's still first and goal. Dap now rolling to the left. Has a lane, might look to take off. He does exactly that. Now making a move, spin to the five. And now second and goal. As Deb with a second great little run there, the putting some moves on the defender. Play clock running, 334 remaining in the first quarter. Depp looking, faking the mid run, dropping back to the right. Looking now to the left. Great pressure. He's going to have mid. Oh, that's a touch. Ooh. Oh. Just a little overthrown. Looking for his wide receiver back right corner there. I feel and like he may be I feel like he may be overplaying that mid fake a little bit. The the rushers are starting to catch on and he's starting to knock in a lot of options off of that. I feel like he'd be better off just trying to take that step back and try to look for passes the regular way. Yeah, I mean, he had the wide receiver there just couldn't connect and Devon's going to have to step in the pocket here. 
And he's got pressure in his face. Gonna throw that one over the top, and that one caught by Hurl. Touchdown, Florida Firecats. Great grab by the MVP. I mean, yeah, that's that's the star player that they want to connect with tonight for sure. That's a huge first touchdown for these Florida Firecats. He took that one right to the left side. He, he looked like he was. He took my advice, actually. He stepped back a little bit. He, he put a little bit more faith in his blockers, and he, he rolled out to the left side, and he found that pass along the right, and now the field the goal is going to be good for that extra point. Field goal will be on the play. good, but there's a flag on the play. Too many men fire cats, so is that um, not going to count? Or? I think that might not. Gotcha. So a tough break there for the Firecats. So having a little arguing with the ref. As you would. It's the it's the biggest game. It's the biggest game of the season. You got to make sure that things go your way. Can't blame them for things getting heated. Yeah, I mean a one point's huge. I mean it's the difference between you know a win and a loss in games like this. Absolutely. I said I wasn't going to talk much, but I will say, absolutely, in a game like this, leaving points off the board is huge. Is really what do you have to say right now after the opening drive? That was a big opening drop. Well, I think they're going to rule it good, maybe. I think they did get their it winter appeal with the referee. But, really, what did you think of that opening drive? Just a phenomenal opening drive by FFC, scoring the ball and connecting with his number one option, Harold, who's the MVP. Uh, probably like four other awards, receiver of the year, CB of the year, offensive player of the year. So, just a dangerous man on the field. And, uh, Rogue, what did you see from the Firecats offense that you thought was pretty good from them? On that I drive. definitely think I definitely think that the first mid fake that he was uh, that their quarterback was starting to do, remind me of names, please. I'm trying to learn these as I go. Uh, YG, like, uh, YG, the YG, yeah, that the YG uh, had initially tried to sell that mid fake as much as he could, but once the defender started to catch on, he started to rely on those passes a lot more. He rolled all the way over to the left and just find that beautiful cross field pass in for the touchdown. It was a brilliant offense in those last few seconds. As now we see Rocky here with the ball, looking to take Justin on a scoring drive here as he Plus might have seven. a man on this left sideline. The wow. jam missed, that one caught there by Duran. He's down to the 15, the 10, and tackled there Number by Hurl. What a big play. That, that was a huge right along the left sideline. Just barely able to shake that. Gator. Just barely able to shake that on the receiver's end. Just able to get right the way down to the 11, I believe. That's a huge well. jam of made there. Amounts for a huge amount of yards. And Rocky now rolling to the right here. Seven up in the pocket, might try to run, but he's gonna get taken down behind the line. And Rocky that'll make it uh, now second and goal. From uh, the Rogue, Pat, goal. people what I said. So now Rocky dropping back, this time to the left, looking over the top, and that one just too high. Making it third and goal Incomplete now, pass. and third and goal. Um, you know, uh, really tell me about these uh, Justin wide receivers. Who is uh, Rocky going to be looking for here? I'm going to be quite honest with you. I'm not sure, but if I were to personally choose, probably Duran. I mean, Dominican native, talented guy. <laughs> and yeah, this is a phenomenal pick there by Duran, and he sees this guy in the back end. So he seems like a good player. So a big play there. This one, seven to six Sarah after Justin has. A Pretty good drive there, scoring in about four to five plays. I mean, that's that's huge. You need that, especially yep. in the VB. Get your confidence up. I mean, that I mean, perfect execution on that one. Good As the stack's gonna work, that is a and Caribbean is gonna get the the block there and the lateral wow. to the right side. He has some space. Might have some blockers down the right sideline to the 50, the 40. He's got a man in his way. Gonna have to try to make one miss. Ooh. Still not taken down. Finally taken down there at the 21, and that Extra one was close. That was a great no play on the lateral. Try to get some points off of that one. That block there. Yeah. Are you guys having server lag, or was that just was that on my end only? Yeah, that was some server lag. Okay, okay. No, just make sure. Yeah. Yeah, the stream is a tad bit laggy, but it looks good. It's just a game. Yeah, it's the game. Just the server. This yeah. one's going to be kicked up here, middle of the end zone. Going to be once again returned by Depp and just a little dive what there. Was. I don't know what that was. Yeah, I think he went the wrong way. He's going to return this <laughs> to the 20. 
and making a couple miss there. Going to get to the 26 yard line. Some good starting position here for the Florida Firecats. So really, what do the Firecats need to do here uh, to you know continue their scoring run here? So unsteady. Why you can't just throw the ball deep like he usually does? He really needs to see what's open and scan the field a little bit more. But he's doing that right now, definitely. He's being a little yeah. more safe than usual. Definitely sitting in this pocket go. here. As he, yep, going to throw though. that one to LMG. And caught there Depetron across that 50-yard line. And get to the 37 to number there. So good, easy first play. We'll LMG is across the field. nearing uh, the end of his time. But this guy was at one point first the best down. receiver. Now From Earl is taking over that throne. And yeah, I mean... We see both together. I mean, it's a phenomenal sight. As a historian myself, this is just beautiful to see. <laughs> Playing back in the day, I remember LMG used to be one of my idols. I mean, that, that man was dominant back Passes in the day. Incomplete. Yeah. Second down, 15. Rogue, I want to ask you so far, what do you see so far in this matchup? I definitely see that both of these offenses have been off to a fantastic start. And even even now, just seeing how the offenses have evolved over the over the course of this first over this first quarter, we need to see we need to see the defense start to step up a lot more if either of these teams wants to get a significant lead. I feel like the offense on both sides has been unbelievably strong. We just need to see the defense step up from one and we'll start to see the point favor tip in one in one way. Exactly there. Is that one thrown to LMJ? Quick and easy play there. Trying to make a couple miss. Doesn't get much. Actually loses yards on the yak. Depetron but still first down there for the Firecats. And back first in high school, he was a dual down. sport athlete. As you guys can see by his agility and speed, this guy was an NRBA player as well. One of the biggest basketball leagues on Roblox. Dual sport athlete. That's a talented <laughs> guy. And that's a pick in the middle. He's going to have it. Just overthrown. Just overthrown, yeah. Can't quite connect. But a good look there from QB. Uh, I was just going to say, I don't think down. Relly would overthrow that pass. Absolutely not, no. no especially not on the big stage. Yep, what, Relly's, Relly's winning it all on the big stage for sure. Absolutely. Relly, you came to perform. This is your, t your time, your moment. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> YG, another quick pass there to LMJ. And that'll make Depetron it third and four. So a big down here. That's YG third needing down. to connect for four. a first down to keep this drive alive. A snap there to YG. He's going to be rolling to the right. Has some pressure in his face, but good blocks there from the center. Now, stepping up in the pocket. That one thrown to LMJ and once again connected. Touchdown. As that one's going to be a touchdown, Firecats. Florida. And another big drive from YG and his team to put the Firecats in the lead here to start this one off. And this is exactly what I was talking about. The offense on both of these sides have just been absolutely phenomenal. Just finding those open passes and making a way to score even more points. We just need to see the defense step up. I would love to see Florida step up their defense a little bit and cut off this Jackrabbits offense. But we'll have to we'll have to see on this kick. So 14 to 6 is your score. Firecats have the lead in this one early. Yep. And that's and, and and that um that blocked extra point is huge for the Firecats. This one's an eight point game now. You're feeling a little bit better. Uh, Justin's gonna need to put some points on the board, maybe with the two points to try to tie this one up. As Rocky's gonna take this one out to the 24 Kick yard line to start this Rocky one off. To the 24. Perk FFC down. definitely a dangerous Jack team. Right. I mean, these guys have been putting in investment banking hours, 18 hours a day. To really improve their craft, very devoted individuals. So you know, I heard, I heard that they actually made that, them alone. I actually heard make the uh, made the OFL over a million Robux by playing Got Next just this past <laughs> week. Just yeah. this past week. Oh, that's crazy. That's some devotion right there. Oh, they want to oh. win this. They want to win this game on the big stage. As a big connection there is going to bring them to the 45 yard line. As they Justin, hit a similar. They hit a similar pass. The they hit a similar pass uh, on their last offense, right down that left side line, and they're looking to do it again. They didn't get as much distance, but I think they're looking to do some more here. Exactly. So Rocky now rolling to the right here. Gonna drop back to the left now, back to the right once again. Doesn't really have a defense. whole lot. Easy throw there underneath, however. That's a good gain for 13 there. So second and two here. Very good defense, just like really said. What did yeah. you see there, really? 
just overall great pressure, and yeah, they're playing zone phenomenally. They're covering every down. aspect of the field besides obviously that short pass, which should have been covered by the DEs uh, lane-wise. So we'll see how it goes now. Is Rocky going to throw that one right side? That one caught by Green Sharky down to the nine-yard line. And a big play there on the sideline once again, just like Rogue's been saying, loving those sideline passes. It's been money for him uh, early in this one. Absolutely. This has been absolutely phenomenal. These sideline passes, as I was mentioning before, has been working wonders for the Jackrabbits. Just going down that line, and they're focused so much. They're focused so much on that back line that they leave easy, easy passes open down the middle like the one we saw before. Exactly. Is that one going to throw to the sideline once again? Just off the mark, and this one will make it second and goal. Definitely looking for those sideline passes goal. in this one. As Very Rocky, good on defense, still. Is Rocky going to take this one now to the left? Going to do a quick pass there underneath, and that one caught. Not quite in the end zone. Third and goal here. They're on the one-yard line, knocking on the door here. Who has got next loser? Uh, King Odino? I believe that's Stafa. He's not very good at the game. Yeah, that okay, so that actually this is what I wanted to say. God next loser just broke the record for oldest player to ever catch a ball in victory. Down. So congratulations goal. to Stafa by God next loser. Uh, on the record. Twenty seven oh, years old and oh, still wow. going. Yeah. Twenty seven. Yeah. That's actually, crazy. 28, 28, Married to the 28. game. Married to the game. You love to see Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean that's some dedication right there. Yep. Does he does he have a ring yet? You Absolutely. Think, uh, oh, okay. I, I I would, I would be kind of sad if you're 28, you know? Yeah, he's a dangerous man on the field. And I put emphasis on the man part because he is a grown man. I might have something here. <laughs> yep, drop him back. This Some is good defense. coverage here. That's throw it away. Oh, oh, it's it's fourth. Fourth. a whole lot. It's fourth, oh, it's fourth. and goal. It's fourth and goal. He's going to have to throw it up. And that one comes oh! to yeah. And a big touchdown there for Justin. What a grab by Chase Hurt. Uh, by number to get his 23, body of bounce. Chase Hurt. You yeah, start I mean, to wonder with that amount of coverage, are they even going to get the pass through? You just got to throw a toss, and they, they managed to get that one through with even like three covers on that. They managed to get that touchdown through. Good stuff. Yeah, I mean, even with the coverage, that was a nice little throw there. Put it through the defenders, just the threading it through the, point is good. the hole. I mean, it was perfect. That is Great the placement there from Rocky. First quarter. He wants Florida, it bad. 14. Josh so 14 to 13 here, Firecats lead, and we're into the second quarter now. So both teams starting off strong. The 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 field goal or the the extra point block from Firecats, uh, pretty huge. Gonna gonna have them uh, the lead here. Um, as YG gonna take this one out of the end zone now, going to the right at the 20, the 25, uh, looking for a tackle there. And it will be coming from Mood, so we're going to start at the 30-yard line here. Depotron. And the Firecats offense been doing pretty well First so far. How are you feeling about it, Riley? Florida from the 30. Let's see if he keeps up this momentum. Like I said, he's very turnover prone. All it takes is one to switch that momentum. And if he turns it over here, Rocky gets the ball back after half, so it's going to be a big turnover. All righty. Thank you, Riley. Here now is YG sitting in the pocket here. Going to throw that one left side. That one caught there by Caribbean. And a big catch there would bring them to the 41 yard line. First and 15. Pass is complete. And Johnson is not playing any defense right now. I think Green Shark you might think he's on offense. I'm not sure. He's definitely not covering anybody with FC jerseys on, so he might just be confused on what side he's on. We're going to see soon. The Florida Firecats are definitely dicing up this Johnson defense so far in this one. See if they can't continue here. Yep. Looking for a pick play on that left side. Can't quite find it here. Now dropping Good back pressure. is YG. Going to have to throw one here. Left side once again. Caribbean going to connect. And he's to the five. And he's into the end zone. Firecats. Touchdown. Huge touchdown there. Florida. Like I said, Green Sharky. I just I don't know if he understands that he's playing defense. He's supposed to cover the people with the black jerseys on. I and taking a page out of the Jackrabbits book even. Throwing that line drive right down the left side. Wide open and just takes it straight into the end zone. So a huge play gives them the lead. Uh, now up seven with the extra point. Going to be going through. The extra and point is good. Waiting for word here to make sure that that wasn't over. And I believe they're going to be calling. Correction. The extra point is no good. No. Uh, they're going to call good. So eight point lead here for the Firecats. And they've just been dicing them up on offense. I mean, Justin had no answer on that drive. I mean, 
Green Sharky just got abused. Well, yeah, right now, I, should be to take him off. I need to say one thing right now, and that is all I need to say is so far, the Firecats have had two appeals on extra points to the referee, and they've won both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they paid him. Sure. I mean, yeah, I mean, the bigger wallet wins. That is 100% true, and we do have a very rich individual on FFC. And not by this, offensive, this offensive side from the Jackrabbits is what I'm kind of worried about is because the, the, the Florida defense was looking so good on their last offense. That Hail Mary pass had just barely gotten through, but so much coverage, and I feel like Florida is finally starting to pull it together on defense. If they can pull it together now, this could, make, this could mean an even bigger lead. First and 15, Jackrabbits. So now Rocky here looking to cut down this lead as he's going to be sitting in the pocket now rolling to the left has some pressure in his face can be back up into the end zone he's going to need to find something quick here as oh. he's going to get safety in the fire oh my with the god play there that was a big one number 14 Pause. honda civic results in a safety two yeah, points wow. to florida well, wow i like mean that. yeah that opens it up <laughs> That opens it up for sure. Rocky did not need to take that. I mean, mm. just throw this it away. What I was, this is what I was mentioning to you prior. It looked like Florida was starting to get their defense together, running it down, not giving a lot of options for the quarterback, and this is exactly what they were looking for. This is the turnover that they needed. Yeah, I mean, they can just extend the lead huge here, um, and this is huge. I mean, YG's going to get the ball back, and they've been dicing up this, this Justin uh, defense, so. Only thing this means is YG's gonna get a lot more comfortable now, so I'm I'm expecting a turnover pretty soon. Oh wow! Well, absolutely. Yeah. Sometimes when it's you're winning there. by too much, I just have to interject here. Uh, sometimes when you're winning by so much, you get a little overconfident, and YG is a quarterback who has done that from time to time. Yep. Yeah, I mean it just depends. I mean this is a huge stage. I mean you can't get too comfortable. You know that this team's good enough to make any type of miracle game. happen. Game of twelve. Well, we will down. see on this Three drive from the 39 as YG with a big play there. He's gonna make it segment three. He'll be taking his time on this one, running on that clock. It'll be 3:40 remaining in the second quarter. As your Firecats are up 10 in this one. I just wanted to say so, also, guys, if you guys have not yet liked, followed, or shared the stream on TikTok, make sure you guys spam those likes, spam those follows, spam those shares. Share the link here on Twitch as well. And also, the Victory Bowl yeah, halftime uh, show week uh, one uh, schedule uh, reveal is coming up at half. So can I get a little an explanation on, on, on what he's doing here? I mean, he had the first down. I don't know uh, yeah. why he didn't take it there. What's up with he's, that? He's running the clock. He doesn't want Justin to get the ball back prior to halftime just because if they score the toss-up and then they get the ball right back, they're pretty much back in the game without any repercussions for the mistakes they made previously. Gotcha. So you think he's trying to run off all this clock in the, uh, in the remaining uh, quarter? That is definitely his goal, but he just got screwed over. So, yeah, fourth and one, and, and, and that's a huge stop there. Didn't get the first down. Fourth and one. Uh, the play clock will be blown, and he's going to be rolling to the left now, looking for a lane. Some first good down. blocks there, and that's going to be an easy first down for YG. Yep. So, yeah, we can, can continue to run this clock here. Three minutes remaining. He's exactly already ran up a good, a good amount so far in this quarter. They're going to continue running off this clock there, taking up as much time as possible. Yep, just running on that play clock. I mean, munching it up. Yep. Yeah. So, two, it's a huge 40, drive running it all here. the way down to the one. Yeah, it's a huge drive for yeah. sure. I mean, clock I mean, management is so important in the OFL. For those of you watching at home, I've never seen the OFL game before. Clock management is so important. And this is really huge here if they can run Second down this down, half and not give Johnson the ball back. So, Kingo, if you were a quarterback in this situation, what would you do? I mean, you're an expert. You've been here for so long. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, putting me on the <laughs> spot here, really. I wasn't expecting that one. But, oh, we did hit over 600, I think, at one point, or at least close to it. But I will say, um, personally, yeah, I think you got to run the clock here. I think you got to try to. But here's the thing, and, and this is what I've seen here, really, and I don't know if you could agree with me. But sometimes these quarterbacks the here in these situations, they try to get a little too cute. And what they do is they try to score with no time left, where I think if you score with like 13, 10 seconds left, that's better off than not scoring. And if they give up yeah. a Hail Mary, so be it. So be it, you gave up a Hail Mary. 
but you know, I feel like you need, like scoring is less risky than you. What you have what, more of a chance to score with ten seconds left than you with zero seconds left than giving up the hail mary. If that makes sense. Yeah, I agree. Third down. Yeah, that's smart. I mean, if you have the score, definitely Second. take it. I mean, don't, don't leave points on the board, just like you were saying earlier. As yeah, I mean, they they are eating up this clock. Already running down to two minutes here, and. Second and six is while you were talking, they had a um, an offsides from Rocky. Tried to jump over um, and look like read the play there. As he's going to be rolling to the right now, YG stepping in the pocket. Maybe trying to look a get, run again, and he's going to make one miss. And another first down for him. So, hey, I mean, they're, they're, uh, their strategy is working so far on this drive. Just eating into the clock here. Stop at the 40-yard line. First down, Firecat going to have about 20 more seconds ticked off the clock and it's it's working to perfection their plan here on this drive i think their priority should be jo like making sure jocelyn does not touch this ball on offense uh this half because no matter which way it goes it's still not the best case scenario so we'll see how it goes i mean you're you're already up 10 in, and they get the ball at half yep. um you you want to make sure that you keep that lead even after their first drive so YG just going to check one down to LMJ, and he's just going to get some yards there, get tackled, and it'll be second and seven. So another 20 seconds or so will be run off this clock. Should bring us under a minute Second down. this play. At the 32. And Rally, you're an expert in these situations. At what point do you say you got the green light to go end zone? Uh, but obviously not yet, but what time do you think, around what time would you say you get the green light go end zone? I usually start focusing on the end zone at like 25 seconds, just because, I mean, the play takes time as well. So even if you do score, it'll be like maybe 20, 21. I mean, depending where you are, of course, but from here, Depetron 25 is a very comfortable point because on it'll on take at least seven, eight seconds to get some end zone in general. Third down. And I have one of my real life friends asking which one I am. Th this is me. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> now, is there, really, is there any point here that you're thinking maybe just go for a field goal if, if you know, there's too much... Uh, too much yardage left. You ran down on the clock. You thinking maybe just put three points up on the board here? If it comes down to four down, 100%. As it will be ran down to about 45 seconds and a quick run there. Going to stop right after the first down. And more time to tick keyboard. here as a fresh set of chains Game for the Firecats. Well, Rogue, I want to ask you, you've been very Firecats. analytic this game. <laughs> what are the, uh, what do you think the Firecats need to do here? I definitely think the defense needs to step up on the side of the Firecats. Um, the defense on the Death side of Florida has, has been so much better. 14, You've seen on the on last the few plays that they've been able to shut things down, 14, even getting that safety on down, the one. on the Firecats' last offense. Um, we need to see them step up their defense if they want to start closing this point gap as much as they possibly can. Because right now, as Florida is taking is taking the ball and running with it, because they have no contention on the on this defense. They're making their plays, and they have zero contention whether it be receives or QB run or whatever. As yet, just like you said, the QB run there up the middle, uh, gonna get to the five yard line. Fifteen seconds left. So here, I mean, really, you're looking for the end zone here. What do you uh, what are you cooking up if you're the QB in this situation? He has four downs. Just keep going up the middle. It'll work out one of the four times. The worst case scenario, they get at the one yard yeah, line. They're not going to get anything out of it. Okay. So here we go. The snap there, right down the middle, just like Relly said. Doesn't get a whole lot. Maybe an inch or so there. Yeah, he'll do it again. I mean, I would personally do it again. That's that's the smartest option. Just keep going up the middle. Just worst case scenario. Yeah, worst case scenario, they don't get ball back either way. So just taking the gamble on the blocks and. I guess the script. Sometimes you do walk through people. Jackrabbits, this is a huge stop for them. Can they get it? The run down the middle. No, they cannot. Touchdown, Touchdown Firecats. Florida. And yep. that they leave eleven seconds on the on the board now. How big is that for for Justin? Uh worst case scenario, it ends up being a ten point game or somewhere around there at halftime. So I don't think it's too big. Well, here's the thing too, if they get this extra points, a three possession game. Just have to point that out. Yep. Yeah, 17, 17 points. That would be indeed a, uh, a three-possession game. This yeah, one's going to be huge. Position. They're in good position either way. Definitely the best case scenario. So here we go. The stack, not yep. so good, and it'll be good three for the Firecats yeah, on the PAT. And yeah, no, that's huge. Bro, 
reminder that at halftime, we'll see this week one schedule reveal for season 37, by the way. Just giving you guys a quick oh, reminder. Oh, my God. I just realized I messed up the team names. I said Firecats when I was trying to say Jackrabbits. Much apologies. I am very new to this game. I am trying my absolute hardest. And you did a great job. I get it. You're a little nervous. I don't know if you've ever dealt with over, I mean, combined with the TikTok and the Twitch, over 400 people before in the stream. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, you didn't have to say the number. No. no. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to do that to you guys. <laughs> well, I've been sweating. What do you mean? <laughs> really sitting here like, ah, oh, this is this is nothing. The rookie numbers. I'm sweating. I'm, you know, I'm drenched in sweat actually myself. Oh, um, you know, it's a big stage, very big stage. 400 people watching me. You know, that's why I start a little bit. I get nervous, especially with people like Elts watching me. This guy, <laughs> legendary defensive end. As a quick play there underneath, uh, gonna have five seconds left on the clock. We're gonna call a timeout. Smart play gives them some space. Rocky doesn't want to get safety again. Um, and they're gonna have, uh, you know, maybe one or two plays here to try to get to the end zone. Uh, you know, maybe have a maybe a short play, get some more yards, call another timeout. Uh, we'll see. It's going to be a toss up here, probably. Yeah, it's going to be a toss up. Yep, so here we go as the snap, and that'll be it for no, no. the time. No, 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 no. Now wow. dropping back. Has He's some pressure. He's in the end zone. Yeah, he <laughs> might not have pressure. time here. Good block, though, from his tight end. Well, there and this one up. up to the end and zone. So and. Intercepted by Hurl! The big name comes up big right before half, and they're going to keep their lead of 17 here going to halftime. Our halftime show. Love not to Freddy. Oh, absolutely, that will end the first half, and right now, oh my, oh my. Anyways, we'll get ready here. As uh, How is everyone doing here? What a first half. Any thoughts here as we head to the half, real quick? <laughs> That's the halftime show right there, guys. guys. <laughs> yeah. It's coming um, from, I thought maybe I had a YouTube video on or something. I got a little scared. Halftime <laughs> show featuring Taylor Swift. You know, uh, we're going to take a look here out quickly the at the week one matchup, so give us just a second, folks. Good friend of mine. Well, let's rapid fire this one. I know you guys are all dying this year. Oh, well, no, just play. Seven. Week one, the Firecats and Jackrabbits in the Victory Bowl rematch. As always, tradition sake. And also in week one, we will see the Bruisers and the Vikings in a OWC rivalry matchup. You won't want to miss that one. And the Sunbirds take on the Spartans. The Sunbirds coming off a disappointing playoff loss as well as the Spartans. Both of these teams get ready for their Season 37 campaign in week one versus each other. Well, your lovable perennial loser, Rexshire Rattlers, don't look like that in Season 37 as they take on the Danceville Ducks in Week Number 1 in a heavily anticipated matchup. As the Roblox Panthers and the DC Knights will also go head-to-head. -head. Well, the Dynasty appears to be no more for the Atlanta Phoenix as they are very, very different this upcoming season as they will take on the Highland Huskies in Week Number 1, hoping to get off to a strong start with their new roster. Nice Yami, I know you've been waiting for this one as the Mexico City Aztecs will take on the Houston Toros in week number one of the season 37. Your Victory Bowl host, Toronto Bears, take on the Core Block Snowhawks in what should be a very fun competition. The Miami Bolts and their roster go to Canton to take on the Greats in what should be an instant classic in week number one. Well, after all these Victory Bowl night, and we see a Victory Bowl 15 rematch between the Newark Destroyers and the Pemberley Punishers in week number one of the season 37. Bailey finally takes over the reins as the head coach of the Oklahoma City Twisters when he will travel to the Red Cliff Raiders field to take on the Raiders in week number one in what should be a heavily anticipated matchup. Well, the Olympia Sky Kings, the winners of Victory Bowl 27, feels like a distant memory 10 seasons ago now, will take on the Otterey City Bucks in week number one of the OFL's 37th season. Two teams with a lack of, well, any success, I was going to say playoff success, but uh, practically any success in the old football league, the Philadelphia Freedom and the Dresden Dragons will go on to take each other on week one in what should be a game between a team trying to get over the hump and trying to actually make some success in the old football league as a franchise. And the Rams start off their campaign against the Roblox Warriors after a heartbreaking defeat in the OWC Championship. And you know I saved this one for last, folks. Last but not least, the Empire State Sentinels will take on the Rockford Raptors.
Uh, Kingo, you gotta hit the line. Someone ask, how do I play? Oh. For those of you asking how to join, if you guys are on the Twitch chat, X Wish Mark OFL, if you guys are on uh, the uh, TikTok here, uh, you can see on the bottom right hand side of your screen, discord.gg slash OFL to join the deck. Thank you. That, he, said, he said the thing. He said the thing. I hey, said really? the thing. Yo, I did the thing. Uh, guys, real quick, before halftime. Oh, by the way, we ready. Oh, whoops. Oh, we ready. Oh, my God. Wow, I can't believe Scope had been done that. We're ready. Uh, anyways, what do you guys think of the PA announcer? You guys like the PA announcer? I think it's pretty cool. Oh like, yeah, it's actually a really neat touch. Yeah, what I do don't hear it. You told me to mute. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you can't hear it, but you'll, if if you're watching on stream, I ask the folks on stream if they like it. I think it's pretty oh. cool. So, <laughs> it's I saw it on my Wait, up. what? For those of you asking about the PA announcer, you guys were asking if it was like in game. No, that's uh, that's only on stream. That's a stream feature, guys. He's in here in the call if he wants to say hi, real quick. He's a great guy. Very talented individual. Pa pa pasta's great. Say it with the announcer voice. Say it with the announcer voice. Yeah, say, say it with the announcer <laughs> voice, Pasta. Why not? Why not? He's shy, guys. Hate to see it. He's shy. <laughs> it's a big stage. He's gonna, come on, he's gonna come on like, I don't like being called out like this. <laughs> <laughs> I am just a PA announcer. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. I did see. We love uh, pasta. We love pasta. Oh my god! I did see a question in chat earlier. That's uh, someone was asking uh, who the best franchise is in OFL, like historically. So I think that's a really good question for our historian and then Cola, really. Really? Well, yeah, you know, as the OFL historian, my pleasure to be the historian. Thank you for calling this. I've always wanted to be called this. Uh, previously, it was the Thunderbirds. I think overall it's the Rams, just because they didn't really have many cheating allegations. But T Birds didn't get removed, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Rams. Oh, no, wow. no T-Birds got removed? Yeah, they're now no longer nice to Zach, as he gives us a bit, by the way, I wanted to say thank you for that. Uh, every <laughs> little bit counts. And I'm going to buy myself, oh, I'm gonna buy oh, myself a lot said, of nice uh, things. Uh, 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 he said the thing. He said the we thing. We have to look at Flaff, Flaff, hurry. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. No, that was that was actually a really funny good joke, guys, please. Yeah, no, we don't we don't get paid if, if we don't. Remember, that's a part of the tra a contract. Yeah, yeah, yep, no, yeah. Yep, I know exactly where my family is. Oh. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not making these guys do do things against their will, guys. It's, it's not happening. I don't know what you guys talking no. about. No, he would never do such thing. Uh, no, 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 um, no, 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 no. Is that the right answer? Wait, is that the right answer, Kingo? Just... Yeah, yeah. You got your. You got your cue cards. Really? Right? Shut up, or I swear to God, the belt comes out again. <laughs> oh no! No! Oh, no! 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 Oh. <laughs> sorry, man. Sorry. Oh, God, the belt. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> right, anyways, back to the victory ball. Yeah, it was a football game. Football game. Football game. Woo. Yeah, uh, I forgot we were doing a football game. Um, yeah, uh, that happened. Yeah, there's a football game, guys. Football. Yeah, guys, there's a football. football. Victory, ball. victory ball 36. Set 30, is it 36? I, 36. It's 36. Okay. I almost said 37 earlier, and I got really confused. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. 45 bits from long leg. That's a great name. That's an amazing name. Appreciate the name, buddy. It really is a long leg. He had to exaggerate it with seven G's. Yep, absolutely. Wow, you counted. That's some dedication. Speaking of counting, are you guys counting out? That was a straight guess. That was a straight guess. I don't know what y'all are talking about. You ready for this W announcer transition? Speaking of counting, you guys counting out the Jostin Jackrabbits. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Good job. We got a great job. Yeah. <laughs> no, real, uh, realistically, we have to we have to see the Jackrabbits step up on their defense. That's what's been killing them recently, is that their offense has been great, but but the Florida Firecats have just been locking them down on defense, and they need to step up their defense as well and try to make it past and and get over this hurdle that they're stuck on right now. By the way, yeah, Supa I mean, says, "Let's go, Jack." So yes, shout out to Jack. Shout out to Jack. Oh. Last name Hoff. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. If, if, nice. you, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh. But I'm not. I, I was born at night, but I wasn't born last night. Nice. Oh, I see what you did there again. He's really. Yeah, we see what. Yeah. Hi. Good job, Kingo. Uh -huh. Do we have a? Do we have a? Yeah, yeah, uh, I got you. A, do we have a laugh track? track? Yep, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. Serious, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that, nice. actually made me laugh. that actually made me laugh for real. God damn. 
Well, that's crazy. Um, no, but back to oh. what you were saying about uh, the Jackrabbits, uh, you know, counting them out. This, uh, this first drive for them is going to be huge because it's going to be the difference between, you know, them making this, uh, once again, a two-possession game or, you know, being a four-possession uh, plus game uh, for, you know, right at the beginning of the third quarter. So, you know, they need to get something going. Rocky needs to, Rocky to score on this drive if they want to keep in this game. Down. Yeah. Rocky scoring this drive would be pretty much like Chris Paul scoring that three down 42. Uh, is this the dagger? Yep. Here we go. <laughs> Not only to the left. Yeah, backed into the end zone. That one thrown. Perfect pass there to the Oh, run. there we go. And that's what oh, they needed to start this drive off. That's a great Iran. connection there. One of our overseas players coming straight wow. from the Dominican Republic. Get okay, get okay. Yo, was that in triple <laughs> coverage too? Can we acknowledge that? That wasn't triple. That wasn't triple coverage. This is what I was mentioning. The Firecats defense has been stepping up, doing so much better than they did in the first half, and even at the end of the first half, they have been stepping up tremendously, gaining this lead, and they're going to do even better starting the second. As now Rocky now dropping to the left, going to check one underneath there to God next, making Rocky it second and eleven. So a quick and easy God pass next. there. Gain of four. It's a little bit closer to that end zone. Who is this center, man? Eleven. Yeah, this is probably the worst center I've ever seen playing a victory goal. Yeah, let's let's see what it is. Rocky's pressured every play. Who I've seen, yeah. Rocky once again pressure in his face. Gonna throw that one over the top and just too mm. high. He needed that one. That one was huge. The wide receiver was there, just couldn't quite connect. Third down. Even then, it was still on double coverage. You need to you need to make yourself more open for these passes. Throwing into heavy traffic, this is just begging for an intercept, and I don't want to see that happen for the Jackrabbits. So Rocky sitting in the pocket here, now rolling to the left, going to throw that one over the top, and that one caught, but out of bounds, and a big body there from the Florida Cats makes this one fourth and 11 here. Another murder fourth prediction, down. correct? Oh, you are right, man. I mean, never wrong. Never have been wrong, never will be wrong. Easy money sniper. Right down, they're gonna go for it. Fourth down, yeah, they have no choice. Going for it, yeah, this is a big play oh, here, and it's God. deflected! What a play for the defensive end! Incomplete. And that'll give the, the Firecats the ball the back. Down, the yeah, this is just not looking too good for Justin. They need to, uh, they need to forfeit. Oh my God. Sorry about that, that's my alarm. <laughs> uh, I gotta actually call someone very quickly, it's their birthday. I will be right back. Oh God, that's all good. <laughs> I'll try, I'll try to take over a little bit. This is what I'm saying. A defensive masterclass for the Firecats. Just putting on way, way more offense or way more defense more so than the Jackrabbits have currently been doing. And this is this is what it's paying off to be. And potentially an even bigger lead down the down the left side. That's Guys, we're going to play a game. It's called, can I cover a victory bowl that's not a blowout? <laughs> uh, if I had to guess, um, no. How many have, how many have, have you to... covered? Um, this is, I've covered some that aren't blowouts, but I mean, they usually are, bro. It's like, god damn. I think I did make a comment about this at the start of the game, is that the Firecats were just off to an amazing start at the start of the game, and they were just able to carry that momentum, building up their defense from what they saw at the start of the first half, and they have just been rolling with it ever since. Yep, as... Uh, YG has all the time in the pocket, has a man on the right side, like that one by the combo, and just tackled before the end zone, but a big play this, there is going to get them to the one yard line. This is what I'm saying, the defensive difference from the Jackrabbits, it, the, the Firecats are having no problem moving this ball downfield, it is, it is just not even a contest at this point. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, if you are the Justin Jackrabbits, you got to do something here to get a stop right at this goal line. Because other, well, never mind. Oh, my God. <laughs> Over the top oh, of the girl. Touchdown, Firecats. This one's 36-13. Uh, well, uh, hey, good stream, guys. It was a good stream. A red district. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We need to see. We need to see a... We need to see an Atlanta Phoenix style comeback. I know. I'm sorry, really, for bringing it up, but that comeback against the Seminoles, that's the one that I remember. They need that type of comeback in order to bring this one back yep, into contention. They need a better comeback than here. that. I mean, this one, they're down 20, 24. Jesus. 
I need yeah. to go on the ultimate run here. The The biggest thing right now is just keeping your composure as much as you can. You are in some dire straits. You need to just lock in and do as much as you possibly can. Take it one possession at a time, and eventually that lead is going to shrink into something more playable. As this one's going to be caught and returned out by Rocky. Running this one to the right side. Looking for some blocks. Going to jump over one defender, but he's going to get tackled at the 23-yard line. <laughs> and the Jackrabbits, I mean, what do they need to do here? I mean, they need to do something, right? Rarelli, you're no stranger to comebacks. What does Rocky need to do? I mean... He probably doesn't stand a chance, let's be real here. But it, what's this, yeah. in, 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 in the multiverse where he does, what would he have to yeah. do? Well, he needs to start off by putting the ball into the end zone. I think he's been struggling with that all night. Uh, he needs to put some points on the board, whether it's a field goal, which won't really help him, or actually putting the ball into the end zone, which, again, he's no stranger to. So I, I personally wouldn't count Rocky out at any point of the game. It's only, I mean, it is a 24-point game, so definitely a comeback. But, you know, we'll see what happens. At least to start off with a touchdown here, ideally. Yep. Rocky going to be throwing this one over the top, and just like you said, a touchdown indeed! <laughs> but Jackrabbit's big play over the top there! Oh, and again, the Dominican God. native. Just a dangerous a, man. Unbelievable! What a what a toss from one end to the other. Just able to beat that last able to beat that last uh, blocker. Uh, the receiver was just able to get it right over his head. A perfect pass from Rocky, and a good touchdown to maybe start a momentum swing. Looking so for a two-point two. conversion here. Oh! Just a beautiful pass straight to the CB. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to be a two-point conversion game still. No Yo, Rally, Rally, that, 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 that throw with there reminded me of a pass that you make. Just you throw it to the receiver, not the corner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. much appreciated. Hey, if that was to the wide receiver, that was a good two points there. But it yeah. sadly was to the cornerback. It's actually a really big mistake there because if they were to get that, it would have been a two-possession game. Now it's still three. Mm. Yep, 18-point lead. As the Firecats will get the ball back. This one returned out by YG. He's going to go to the right side here. Trying to make some miss. He'll just get tackled at the 24. So starting position here. Firecats ball. Just looking to extend the lead. Line. Keep their run going. This is going to be the difference maker. The Jackrabbits need to step up their defense, and it looks like even now Depp is just going to be able to keep running it down. This defensive side on the side of the Jackrabbits has been the difference maker. This has been the reason that the Firecats have been able to keep going down and extending the lead as much as they have. The defensive difference is, is what is causing this game to be so lopsided right now. Yeah, you especially cannot give up run plays like this when you're trailing by this much. Well, that's a crazy call out, Kingo. It just shows you're an expert at the game. <laughs> uh, I've seen a thing or two, so... <laughs> Absolutely. As YG is starting to run once again, I mean, you think he's just going to start trying to run this clock down, get out of here as soon as possible? As now rolling to the right, has the lane, going to take off, going to get the first down and a little bit more. So as fresh shut of chains for the Firecats. And we've got 222 remaining in the third. First down, Florida. And at some point, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to ask a question here. Do you think that this is a Jackrabbits offense or a defense question? Because you're starting to see Firecats are a lot more. I seem to be a lot more unique with their offensive plays. So, do you think this is a offensive or a defensive difference for the Jackrabbits right now? Uh, who's this question to? Because I don't want to interrupt. Well, I uh, Rally, Rally, or anyone. The floor yeah, is Rally, open. Rally would be best. Rally would be best. I think it starts off with offense because yeah, again, the team momentum realistically does wow, start with wow, offense wow. no matter what. Because if you can't score, then there's. I mean, it's a scoring game. So. In the end, whoever has more points wins. And if you just can't put the ball in the end zone, it's not going to be a good momentum boost for your team whatsoever. Yeah. They're not trying to play defense all game. So the more they're going to be on defense, the more they're going to be scored on. As now uh, bring this clock down uh, here with eight seconds left on the play clock, 140 remaining in the third. And they're just taking it down on this yeah, drive. Yeah, are they already in again. clock running mode, really, it looks like? Uh, definitely are trying to drain off a bit of the clock. I don't think they're fully in clock running mode. I think they're just taking off what they can. A lot of pressure on Depp right now. Oh, he's going to throw this one over his head. Oh, no. 
She walked directly into that jam. Not a not looking a thing you see often from the goal yeah. uh, receiver. Yeah, he was looking for Hurl there, just can't quite connect. Good jam. And it goes right over his head. So third and ten. It could be second and ten, actually. Oh. I think. Yeah, I think second. they messed up the down marker. Oh, uh, they messed up the down markers. All right, so second and ten here. Is YG yeah, going to step up, has the run lane. He's going to go up the middle, make one miss. And it'll be third and one there. Close to that first down. You know, keep oh that clock God. running. Eight of nine. Apologies if I sound a bit raspy. One. I'm starting to lose my voice oh, no. for some reason. What is going God. on? Holy. I didn't know it was this exciting. I have to come around to OFL more often. Thank you for inviting me, by the way, Kingo. This has been incredible. No problem. It is an honor to have you, Young Relly, and Adam, and Pasta here. We really do appreciate you guys for being here. Fourth and one, this is a chance for the Firecats to get back in the game. Incomplete. It's going to be a huge stop for, for Justin yeah. if they want to if they want to have yeah. a shot at this game and the comeback. Fourth and one is difficult, though. You don't really have a lot of room. You don't really have a lot of room to try and defend. Well, so Relly, just I, I, have to, I have to ask Relly here. What is the nerves of Depatron right here? Fourth and one. You don't want to blow a lead. You'd be the meme of all memes. Well, he gets the first it. down. But if he didn't, what, what, what would the nerves that have been on, on going on for the Firecats? I think they're still in a great position yeah. either way. So the nerves, I mean, YG's not a guy that gets nervous. There's one thing I know about him, his, I guess you can say, I mean, the, the incorrect word would be cocky. I think he's just very confident and his confidence does overshadow any risk of being nervous. My only thought would be, you know, if you know, if you give up a lead like this, you're never going to hear the end of it. Oh, for sure. But like I said, he's confident at a point where he does not care. So he's going to do his thing no matter what. Oh. Back on the okay, by that is that is really wow. good. That is a really good defensive tackle. Yep. So that'll bring it to second oh, and eighteen. Three. Huge play there from the that Jack Rabbits. Maybe they'll come alive here and get a stop. Try to get it's this comeback good. rolling. I see the defensive turnaround on the side of on the side of the Jack Rabbits. We'd love to see it, but no, that is a pass over to the left side, trying to get as much yardage as possible down. And third and four. Third and four. 22 seconds left in the third quarter. Firecats with a short little play there, trying to make it some manageable on this third and four play. YG, going to run that clock down. We might see us go into the fourth quarter. As Yep. YG going to just just walk off, get, get calm and collected before this fourth quarter, trying to get – that can be 36. Yo, what's up? Four Wait. seconds. Can you just introduce us? Uh, what time is it? Well. What time is it, King Fourth, fourth quarter, quarter of Victory Bowl 36 quarter. to 37 to 19 quarter. game. The Firecats and the Jack Rabbits. It? This is crunch time. Oh, that's what I'm here for. It's oh, just my God. That. The first play of the first fourth quarter, and Hurl's going to come out swinging with another touchdown, and the Firecats are going to make their lead that much more. Hurl for 30. Absolutely unbelievable. It is not even just a defensive difference at this point. It is, as you mentioned before, Relly, the offensive difference. The Firecats have been unbelievable this, this second half, and it has only continued to spiral upwards. Hard scope this most likely going to be a VB champion. This is, I mean, going back to the early days of season 19, Hurl and Depatron teamed up. Depatron just was never even a playoff quarterback. In I, w I was about to say, fun. Relly, if you would have told me Depatron would be in two victory bowls back in season 19, winning one of them, which, I mean, that's right now that looks like this is going to be the result, I would have called you absolutely crazy. Yep, but here and we I are. wouldn't have blamed you. What started as a duo that was strictly for forcing touchdowns and giving hearts go for receiver of the year ended up being a duo that is now going to be crowned. Yeah, as a, if you would have told me hard scope was gonna win a victory bowl, I would have said it's not gonna be if Depatron's gonna be with like Kelvin or something because he teamed up with Kelvin on the point and that team didn't win a victory bowl. It took Depatron yeah. to win hard scope his ring, assuming this result holds. It was meant to be. So Rocky there with a the check down. To his tight end, that one to God Next Loser. And it'll be second and six for the Jackrabbits. Now dropping back, Rocky sitting in the pocket here, looking for a wide receiver. Florida Firecats' defense holding up so far. 
Might have oh, one short going. here. He's going to throw it underneath. That one I got next once again. And a good reception there. We'll get them the first down. Fresh set of chains uh, for the Jackrabbits. I think he did have the open pass a little bit further down. It would have been a little bit more risky, had some defenders on him. But if you're the Jackrabbits right now, you need to start looking for those ultra-risky ultra, like, ultra risky plays. You need to start putting points back up on the board. You do not have a lot of time to do it. Absolutely, Rally. You're, you are typing up a storm there, by the way, young Rally. What is <laughs> yeah, going on apologize. in your mind? Sorry. Yeah, you're good. You're I good. was you're uh, good. congratulating YG on his big performance. Absolutely. <laughs> he deserves it right now. Yeah, Hopefully, there's still number some three. game left, but it looks pretty pretty comfortable right now. I think it's four, oh, is it four possessions miracle. at this point, too. Um, my math is right. 25 is... 25? Four. Yeah? yeah four. Yeah. Yo, yo, Tom Brady come back, can come back down 25 points in the Super Bowl. Rocky come back down from 25 points in the Super Bowl. Uh, I'm just saying. I can't say oh too God. soon. That was a long time ago. Oh, my gosh. And a good oh, sack oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. Sends the defender flying, but he gets, he the, absolutely he gets the loss. Absolutely. Oh, freaking <laughs> jacked. Holy hell. <laughs> that defensive oh, yeah. end started doing gymnastics on the field. He was excited oh, after that big sack. This yeah. defense is crazy. Yo, balls. Wait. No. Never mind. Well, so I was going to say, one of the most, I mean, this has to go down as one of the most dominant defensive performances oh. in the history of a victory bowl. It really does. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, defensively, they have a lot of, oh my god, how many dodges are you going to get? Jack Rabbit's team. Season 31, the Sunday has been a whole three-time oh, yeah. champion. This is yeah, true, that, that is true, that's true. And maybe season 14, Raptors, the only other example I can think of, maybe season 24, Snowhawks. I mean, those are the only times that I can think of teams really being this dominant uh -oh. defensively in a victory bowl. Not a lot of room. Oh. Yeah, good check down it. underneath there again, and Guy oh, is oh gonna score a touchdown. So Justin down. put another one up, and yeah, Hops, just uh, like you were saying, I mean, the defense just a, one just up a, there. Just a hop, skipping to jump to Grandma's house, jumps over how many people, and he puts that one right <laughs> into the end zone. Wait, can you just repeat that phrase one more time? You said a hop, skip, and what? Well, I think it's a hop, skip, and a Justin Jackrabbit jump. Get it? Because rabbits jump. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. Nice. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> if I were to joke that, if I were to rate that joke probably a solid six out of ten. Uh, I mean, oh, eight for I'd well, give it like uh, a really? six point eight out of ten. I got you. I got you. Yeah. With a seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all week. No, really, I'll be here all week because I have no life. I'll go to run box. So 44, what, 25 the score here. And the Firecats will get the ball back. I think you just run all this clock off just like they did in the in the second quarter. They're going to try. Yeah, I mean, they very well might just – this could be the last possession of Victory Bowl 36. And I didn't think it was going to go down like this. But here we are. You know, what do you do if you're Joss in this situation? How do you kind of try to plan to stop them? Uh, from running all this time off the clock. I think the only thing they're planning to do is just leave the group right after the game on the <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. But though, I will say, if you can get a sack, you have three timeouts, so the clock stops on sacks, right, Rally, if I'm correct? If that does happen. Uh, yes, sacks, stack for losses. Sacks, stack for loss, that stuff. So maybe you get a sack, so back room. him up, oh, stop wow. that clock a little bit. Maybe that's the he only He might have a man over the top here. Oh, that was oh, a risky oh, pass. Man. I would not have thrown that pass. Yeah, he was. I think he was looking for his wide receiver hurl once again. Yeah. There. If you, um, if you just got jammed out, stop them here and get the ball back and score, you have a chance at the onsides. That's the only way you have any remote semblance of a chance here. Yeah, but the run is wide open, so chances are it's what's going to happen. And he just, I guess, doesn't yes, want to check down. Yep. Lateral pass. Oh, okay. wow. One. Oh! Yeah, oh, that sums up the night right there. I feel like that just absolutely summed up the night for the Jostin Jackrabbits. Where are your ankles? They're gone. <laughs> well, Stoffa's going to have a very sad 30th birthday party uh, this week when he, uh, you know, with his kids to not win a victory bowl. That's going to be sad for Stoffa. Can we get some, some Fs in the chat for Stoffa uh, for that? Uh, that's called incomplete. Uh, Rowley, I know you know Stoffa a little bit. You wrote a song about him or something. Uh, what yeah, do you yeah, think? Uh, are, are you sad? Are you sad that his thirtieth birthday is going to be very sad? Um, with no ring. Yeah, he's, a, he's a winner. He's a previous winner, so I think he'll be okay. Yeah, that's that's. I'm looking at bringing the pressure. Ah, never he's mind. the winner in our hearts. Yeah, yeah. But, so he's got all the time in yeah, the pocket. Yeah, he's a loser here. in real life. Pretty. How much time? Stack. This is the oh. Oh, that's Ooh. risky. Drone to Earl, and it's going to be another touchdown to the Firecats, putting up a 50-burger. 
here in the VB. Oh, yeah. oh fine, we got a VB, man. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, I, I thought, I thought oh, for a God. second that was the dumbest pass I ever saw. I thought, oh, you're about to let Jostin back in the game. Hard scope, hard scope. What the hell was that? And what is happening? That corner to corner to corner pass right along the diagonal. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> he kicked the ball. <laughs> and and, and the, the Justin defender is going to get it. So they will no, keep 50 ball. points on the board. Oh He's no. I don't think that's that what is, That is 50. Oh my god. I guess they're going to redo. Who's going to win this game, they asked me. Um. I think the viewers lose because it's a blowout, and this is unfortunately like go home, guys. This game's garbage. <laughs> How about that, folks? My uh, headphones game disconnected for a second. Deb has all of the room in the world. He is he is shopping at the market right now. The shelves are lined. What is <laughs> happening right now? He oh, throws man. it underneath, and he's gonna. Possibly, is that in? They're gonna call it good. Uh, did I hear is it in? Wow. Yeah. Uh, wasn't there a famous is it in in the victory bowl before rally? Like, wasn't wasn't that a famous line one time in the victory bowl? I don't bowl? think it was a VB. I think it was. I think it was. I, th I think. Oh. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. yeah. About, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, if you know, you know. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh. You no, know, you know, yeah. This one's gonna be kicked to the Jack Rabbits. And 52-25, uh, they got the flip score, you know. Wish they had that uh, 52, not the 25. But Kickoff returned by number 29. Wait, oh, is that Cheesy Chaz? Is that Cheesy Chaz at the end? Oh, Cheesy uh, Chaz? Venom, I Where's think that's Cheesy Chaz. Score? Oh, my God. It is a flip score. I just realized. <laughs> yeah. Is <laughs> Rocky just going to run the ball here? I, Rocky on the keeper. I don't keeper. know if he's maybe giving up or... What? Down by Honda. Not <laughs> the greatest game from the Jackrabbits. Absolutely. With around two minutes to play, I wanted to give a little bit of a roll call here. I, I didn't think I would have to do it during the game, but wanted to give a shout out, of course, Young Relly, uh, Adam, and uh, Rogue, who did a phenomenal job, and of course, Pasta on the PA announcer. What do you guys think of that PA announcer tonight? I think it's a very unique oh. thing, and definitely something we like. To, we'd love to do again in the future if the uh, comes. Incomplete. Third down. We really do thank you guys for being here, yeah, and man, I, I, heard it right I will absolutely, uh, guys, send me all your Twitch channels, and I will shout them out in OFL. If you guys had a league that shouted out the game, give me the info. I will shout it out in OFL. Probably tomorrow. I it's late. I'm not gonna lie. It's oh late. wait, ah oh, crap. Um, the Kingo, I'm over on the green platform now. I can't. Oh no. That's fine. I can, green. I can shout. I can shout you out on the OFL stuff. Yes, bless. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me. By the way, this has been incredible. This is definitely one of the biggest you know, stages that I've been on in my you know new career. This is absolutely insane. Absolutely, I want to say, Thank you for the Rally, we got to get you streaming games on your channel again. Yeah, absolutely, man. I'll do my best. Thank you for the opportunity. So we and uh, we absolutely want to see Rogue and Adam maybe stream next season. We we need more active streamers, guys. I know Ooh, a lot of you guys catch. have always asked me, how do I get started streaming? I want to stream, I want to stream. DM me, guys. DM me. I'm happy to help out. For the first down. I've been asking for for tips and tricks from Kingo. He's you know, he's he's got the formula. I was a little I was a little uh I was a little student. A little, little bit of luck. <laughs> Not gonna lie. A lot of luck. <laughs> a, a lot of luck. <laughs> A That's all of, right. As a lot of luck and a lot of people who are very supportive. Just, oh, he actually gets the first down. Okay. Pass Justin's looking to four. put the dagger in, in Florida, getting the score down. Uh, oh, what is first it now? Down. 17? Yeah. Yeah, let's do some math. Yeah, right? Something like that? I don't know. They need like so many intercepts back to back. They have no time to waste. Yeah, I mean, I'll you got a minute 45. Right. You don't got enough time. Yeah, I mean. Oh. Yeah, and you don't even have onside kicks at this point. Yeah. As the Jackrabbits will try to put on one last touchdown here to make it look a little closer. But this game was indeed the opposite of close. The Firecats oh, all of it today. This one. Look at the RSN video crew all over the stadium. You'd love to see it anyway. Third down, 12. <laughs> From the twelve, it's just all K it's just all Kingo's clones. He has a bunch yeah. of people who are just like him. Yo, oh my God! Yeah, that's a good touch play. There we go. Play there. Touchdown. That's in the end zone. 
Mustafa just shows us he's got 20 years old and still has Mustafa. that as he once had. I mean, yeah, he dove in the end zone. You, you got to think a couple of bones were creaking there. Yeah, <laughs> Well, especially with him being 30 years old, I mean, he, he's definitely used to, you know, having the bones creak. He's a little old there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. At this point, you got to wonder if the Jackrabbits are just playing for the memories right now or if they're actually trying to make something happen. But I, oh, I, I that is actually cool. Think, I think they know the result is inevitable sure. at this point. I, I, I think they have to, especially with that being short, because it's going to be, well, if they call it in, it's going to be mathematics, folks. It's still a 19 point game. So it's still oh, 19 it is good. Yeah. They cannot. Kick an onside. The only good. way is if you get a stop and then get a couple onsides, but it's slim to none the chances. Yeah, especially with the Firecats playing as good as they have been. And I feel like they're not really in the mood to try and turn this over right now. I feel like I feel like it's a done deal at this point. Well, I was going to say, absolutely, by the way, moderators, be sure to wait until the clock hits triple zeros just to award this channel points. Do not award them any sooner mm -hmm. than the clock hits triple zeros. I just do like to make sure, just in case. Kickoff returned by no LMJ to the 24. So here we go. This should be the last drive. They should just First run all the clock off oh, here. Yeah. YG should be crowned a champion here in VV36. Just 115 remaining here in the fourth quarter. That's the difference. Step has so much room to throw. Oh my god, that oh might my be god. Wait, hold on. Oh. 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 And never mind, no last drive. He's throwing that thing up and getting one over the top there. It's a crazy pass. That's not just a crazy. I mean, I thought for a second, oh, it looks a little low, maybe, maybe the inter no. I mean, that's just what happens. But, uh. Well, Depatron said before the game. Depatron said before the game he thought they were gonna win. He said this is the start of a dynasty. Well, we'll see what happens next season, but it looks like Once again, at least for tonight. Shopping at the supermarket. The, 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 they've just been restocked. The, the, the shots are lined. <laughs> it's all good. They've got plenty of options. They're just looking at the price the tag. Well, I, I will say, the buffet is open for methods for the Firecats to win. I don't think the menu is even... I don't even think there is a menu for the Jackrabbits. They don't need a menu. They've got they've got the five-course buffet. They, they, they're they just yeah, scrolling through really, the I don't options think there's right a now. menu for the Jackrabbits. And about that crunch time, I think the crunch bar has melted. Oh. Rest in peace. Yeah, they've, uh, you know, man. Rabbit's actually pretty good to eat. So Firecats are going to eat good tonight. Absolutely. 60 in a victory bowl. Is that a single team? What's the record for most points by a single team in a victory bowl? Could this, is this it? To think about that. Might be it. I actually think it might be. Off. No, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I think teams have scored a, a couple teams have scored more. But I think Dunnever has scored more versus the Huskies since the 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, destroyers. That's, I was, that's the exact one I was about to call. Oh yeah, 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 destroyers, not out there. Yep, yep, yep. But I was about to say, I was about to say, that. I think that's the only um, no, because even even when the Raiders Rocky killed the Bulls, I don't think they scored Kirsten. this many. I don't remember that. Being Second down. 12. It's season sixteen. Oh well, you're the historian. You have to know, really. I'm not yeah. hundred percent sure. I yeah, you got to study your OFL a little bit more. Yeah. The textbooks. The textbooks. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Read about it in the history books. Relly will tell you all about well, it. This one's yep. gonna go in. Well, this one's just about in the history books as the Justin Jackrabbit season is history at this point. As throws the right side. This oh, one caught. Oh, oh my down. god! <laughs> oh, my. And that one. I, I thought he was maybe about to get jammed, but it gets right Passing through and a good touchdown there. That one was sixty-three to thirty-two. So okay, okay, you ready for this? The Firecats have a chance to make history here and score the most points. By single team in victory bowl history, even a field goal would do it, or to, would tie it at least. Thirty-nine oh to gosh, sixty really? right now. Yep. So a field goal would tie wow. that record. This that I believe is, is also maybe. Well, when it's all said and done, I think it might be the highest scoring victory bowl between combined by both teams. Oh, big intercept! Wow. Yep. <laughs> That's the dagger right there. That's what stop they needed. That, you think, yeah, you, you get, a, you get a double bag for that <laughs> one. <laughs> Rally, do you think that this would be? Do you think this is the highest scoring victory bowl between both teams? I think I it think is. So, yeah. I think it yeah, is. Sure. That's crazy. There haven't been a whole lot of mistakes in this game. 
Wait, no, 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 it's not. It's not. The Jackrabbits. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? It's Sorry. not. Uh, the VB thirty-three, the one I was in, was uh, fifty-two forty-nine. So that's close. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I didn't even think of that one. You're right. You're, you're, you're correct. I just looked it up. That's what I I completely forgot about that game. I think they might be I going to block that record. game out of my yeah, memory. Let's, let's, let's see if YG tries to air another one out and try to get this record here. Hey, Tati has oh, going yeah, to Yeah, they're see going it. for it. They're playing this as fast as they possibly can. <laughs> Dev, not a lot of room. That's a good pass. Yep. He's got two. Oh, oh he almost made it past two. Yeah, he's, got, he's got 27 to seconds to try to make this, uh, this record a reality here. They're going for oh, it. They're taking <laughs> every second that they can get. <laughs> Yeah, they're typing in chat, break the record. They want it. They want to see it from the they fire cats. Dev has a little bit more room. No. Oh, a little bit of contention. Oh, but he's going to be able to step on the right side. A little bit more wide. Wide open pass. They got 19 seconds to get eight, eight yards. That, that, that's very doable. They're set, they're set to do it. it. They're, uh, they're down on the eight foot. They're down on the eight yard line. This is, it could happen. It could happen right here. And this, I mean, I guess, I guess the there's some entertainment broken. at the end of the game after all. <laughs> <laughs> As it's not the way we anticipate. Yeah, to he gets to the seven. The yep. 15 one. seconds left on the clock. I wow. might try to do it himself. He might try to take it himself and break that record on his own. No wide open pass. It's gone. Touchdown. That'll Over break down. the record. As they put up 66, That's could be 67 with the PAT. Nine seconds remaining. They're going to get to 68, theoretically, if they go for two. And Depatron and, and the Firecats are going to celebrate. It's over. And they're done. It's over. They did it. They got the hardware. That is Pearl wins the Florida BB. Firecats are your Final victory Florida. bowl Florida. champions. Awesome. Well, that's beautiful presentation. Congratulations. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. Respawn my avatar. I want to go celebrate. Come on. I want to come back. I want to see. I want to go me, to the stage. Let me on the field, coach. Let me on the field. I want to run it. <laughs> we want to get a shot here of the team. And the yeah. highest scoring victory bowl performance from, from a single team. Is it? I believe so. Go get Cutler off the stage, bro. Get Cutler off the stage. I mean, you know, looking back at it, uh, YG, you know, at quarterback, just had a perfect performance in this one. Made almost no mistakes and puts up 66. I mean, that's just beautiful. That's what you want from your QB, your star of the team. Yep. Well, it was a pleasure commentating. Absolutely. Thank you for having me, Kingo. Very grateful to have had you, young Rally. So this has been absolutely you. fantastic, Kingo. What a show put on. Yeah, yep. absolutely. I'm going to head out. Thank uh, you, Rogue. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Kingo. Great Thank to see you, Rally. Rally, DM me later. We, I want to talk to you. Just, I just miss you, man. Keep the group chat. Keep the group chat going. Y'all are sick. Y'all are sick. I need to. I need some sort of advice from Absolutely. all of you boys. I appreciate you guys so appreciate much. Appreciate it, man. All right, it was great talking to you guys. Have a great night, and uh, best of luck with your future endeavors. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks, man. You too. Thanks. Well, with that, we thank you guys so much for the opportunity to have covered tonight's game. The old fell on Roblox Sport Network. And yes, Pasta now <laughs> is out of go, the PA pasta? booth. He's out of the PA booth. Yo, can go, pasta? Yeah, go no, on AFK? Oh. Yo, they, these players keep going AFK. You hate to see it. Oh, oh my god. I killed my voice for this. Holy. <laughs> oh, man. This was a whole bunch of fun. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, that was a lot of fun. And I hope you guys liked the PA system. I, I thought it was really unique. Uh... Guys, I'll, if you I'll guys, have to go back on the screen and hear it. yeah, absolutely. That that was really cool. That, I thought that was a really cool effect. Uh, I will say, I, if you guys shouted out the game in the league, make sure you guys DM me again, just so I don't forget, because I'm the type of idiot that will. <laughs> uh, but great to see the Firecats, thirty-four oh seasons God. in the making, champions. They finally got him one. So they finally got a hard scope to championship and they finally got a second championship to go alongside 
That lonely season two trophy, lonely no more. I'm gonna end here on TikTok, guys. We appreciate you guys for being here. And what a game. Thank you guys so much for coming through. We love you guys and peace. We will stay here on Twitch for just another second while we get ready to raid someone. Thank you guys so much for Victory Bowl 36 on a Roblox Sporting Network. Ooh, raid time! Raid I will time. say, let's go. Uh, let's see who we're gonna raid. I don't know who yet. Uh, do 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 do. do. Let's figure this out. I want to give a couple shout-outs for sure, by the way, coming up here. Um, in the meantime, thank you guys again so much. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I really, really do always appreciate you guys. You guys are currently second on the Roblox category. You guys are W's, guys. Whoa! Holy! Hey. The only guy ahead of us is like 800 viewers. So, yeah, that, that, oh, that, in, the that in the competition. But, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's playing his, he's playing his uh, anime fighting game. No, of course. It's always the anime. It's always the rowing. Row anime is so big, bro. I swear. Dude, they got the throwback champion jerseys. Oh, yeah. uh, anyways, thank you for all the follows coming through, guys. Oh, wow, we appreciate that's it. Cool. We're going to get ready to raid someone here. Champs. Yep. Oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. Well, yeah, that's that, that, that owner, that Mac guy who's wearing it, is that the one who you see? Because he was the quarterback yeah. back in season two when they won the championship. Oh, my gosh. Really? That's insane. Yep. Yep. Oh wait, never mind. The guy ahead of us is uh, Dizzy, Apex Legends superstar for um, Sentinels, I believe. Wait, guys, we're gonna raid. That... We're gonna raid. We hoopin say King of Light raid, OFL raid, RSN raid, Victory Bowl raid, etc., etc. Have a night, folks. <coughs> Love you guys and peace. It's been a pleasure to be here.